Thank you, guys. Uh, I to be happy today to talk about the developing scalable test in Python with the Django. Yes, but let me quickly introduce myself. Hi, my name is Abraão Honorio, so it's a different name for speaker English. I'm president for Regis Pride. I'm from Brazil, the small city in the world. From Brazil, yeah, I'm married. My wife is here, love you. I love men, and you see it's on. I love test community. I found some, some community in my hometown and enjoy a lot. And I support the Vasco da Gama team, the best soccer team from Brazil. Yeah. And I am a staff software engineer at the Quorum. Quorum provides software for public effort. Uh, there are several uh, customers, uh, she Search, Uber, Coca-Cola, and another. Focus in, in back-end developing my career. Yes. Just the uh, overview about the, the talk today, I divided the presentation in two big sections. The first section, overview about the test. Oh, magic. <laughs> in the sec second section, uh, I build the quality software where I show some tool helping me and produce a performatic test. Oh. So, Right now, I would like to please imagine a specific situation. It's happened on Friday at 5, 5 9 p.m. Yeah. In this time, you are already feeling weakened. Yes, you cannot think more about the work stuff. So, but your team receives the message from an important customer. Hey, best team in the world, I think that I have just found a bug. I am able to resist a user on the user page, but the front field was empty. Yes. In this case, it's so common, you see this process, yeah? You try to reproduce the same way in the testing environment. After this, you start the bug your code in your local machine. It's better. I'm so tall. <laughs> uh, you write the, right now you find the, the root case, and you start writing code to fix it. And you open the pull request and give our, your colleagues to review, to make a review, and you test the intention environment. Uh, it's fine. You receive the acceptance from the QA engineer, and you launch a new version on production environment. It's a common press process, yeah? But this process is like this. Imagine you like to like wash your hands. You can. Yes, it's possible. But it's not a uh, perform art yet. Just because it's working doesn't mean it's fi fixed. You don't have to handle it that way. Because there is a more performant way. And you, right now you think, well, what's the best way? So, the call the TDD, Test Driven Development. Uh, let me check something. Who here working using the TDD approach in your day? Oh, nice. There are a lot of people. I so happy. <laughs> yeah. The TDD is divided in five steps. They start, they start, you receive the feature request, your bug feature request, whatever. After that, you need to start writing the test. Of course, your test is fail because you don't have code. And after this, you start to write the code. And for a uh, step, you need to think about your code and make the refactor, split big methods, because method, né? clean code, I'm sorry. <laughs> and the, the interaction needs to follow this step by step. You arrive at the iterate, the fifth uh, step, you need to think, oh, I am continuing or no, yeah? And it's the, pro the process, it did not only help identify problem, it also help prevent the problem. The code becomes more clear, and you increase the code average of your code and the project, of course, because you start creating the test. So, let me show the test. The test parameter is defining about the type of the test. I know there are a lot of type of the test, but I get it 
two types and focus in the presentation. The first is a unit test. You need to test just the code logic, and the second test is integration. Oh. <laughs> I think I am fat. <laughs> yeah, the second part is an uh, integration test, and you need to test the code logic, the service API, three APIs, and the database. Uh, just to, uh, give the, the example about the unit test, the test the small unit of your application in general is method. Because I defend your method should be uh, small, but I know, and it's a trade-off, and you need to think about this. Yeah? So you need to perform it. You need to a big method. Yeah. The integration test, integration test that manage if independently developed units of your software working correctly when they are connecting to each other. The big point in the definition about the integration test is develop a unit of the software. What does it mean this? Yeah, the layers in your application, they are communication with database or communication with another uh, API. Yes, the important part, and I love using in my daily routine, is called the triple A part. Oh. Uh, the, because it's divide, you divide your method test in three sections. The first section call it the arrange, the second is act, and the third, the final is our set. In the first section, you need to create the request, you need to fix it, you create mock about your test, act just the method you need to, to test effectively your, your code, and your set you need to try. Oh, my expectation is the same thing. Are you hoping? Yes. So, right now, arrived in second section, the build the created software process. And essential testing tool for success. The first, PyTest is amazing. You can create a good description about the test, the format, the style, anywhere else. The second is fake. It can provide many fake records. And the fact why is amazing. Uh, feature because you can represent your module or your domain class or class using this tool. Yeah, just an example about the fake. You provide the namers, email, phone number, data between data, and a lot of tests, a lot of type of the test. Because fake, you should have use it, uh, fake because the same reason you are using Lorem Ipsum in front end side. And the factory boy is just an example uh, map, uh, to represent your module. Just this module is an organization phone table. And you create the attributes. The ID is a type of sequential. The organization is a link with the, the another table. The count code, the fake, the phone number, and the anywhere else. So, you, you need to create an, a factor uh, like that. So just an example about the factor, you can create a factory uh, following this, this method. You create a batch, you create more one, you're using the create batch. And you, you need to use this library because the same reason you have, should that avoid the setup fake phone, yes? So, Follow TDD process. Uh, I am talking a lot. It showed me code, please. Yes, but please remember this cycle here. You start here, receive the fit request, the second moment you write the test, the, after the third, you write the code and the sales. So you receive a fit request like that. I think anyone here using Jira, yeah? <laughs> and you need to, in summary, this task. Okay, oh, implement the number field in the form. Uh, but this, this, uh, this uh, task is so poor in description. Yes? In this moment, you receive the question, you need to discuss with your product manager, your tech lead, your manager, about the, the, the task. You need to improve the description and put the accepting criteria. Because you need to put validation about the phone number, for example, because it, for, for example, in my 
my case, I work in the global company. Need to provide support for many countries. The logic for using phone numbers in Brazil is so different from Spanish, so different than the US. Uh, and you need to uh, improve the test, you too. Oh, need to test case, uh, all uh, validation rules and uh, error handling, etc. Screen like this. And the unit test show the code. Yes, it's, there is a the example you need to. Right now, arrived in second step, you create a unit test. In this moment, you need to define your test, and you're using the the parameters, and you create the test. Uh, for example, the US true, the BR true, and the US false. I create the two 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 types to validate my, my test. So, of course, the result is fail. Oh. Right now, I'm start create the phone domain, just an example, and the, the, the task I would like to test is a valid phone number. Yes, and I just return right now for a moment, false and invalid phone, phone number, return the top. Uh, yes, right now I can uh, create the the code and uh, break the phone and the, and separate in three section uh, yes the, dividing the first moment uh, act second moment uh, act oh the first moment you you, you start the video about it. Uh, I cannot see this uh, arrange in the second moment you create the the act you, because you would like to test this valid phone number method, and the third party you would like to test the R set, yes? So, in this case, you run the test, just a return false. Right now, I am able to create the test. Yeah, I use it in the first moment, I would like to test the see, see country code, your phone number is empty. Just return true, and the post number, I use in the library provided from, from Google many years ago, and portable to, to Python, to check, and I check. This is valid, return, return true. This is not check, return false, and uh, invalid phone number. So, uh, right now, you, oh Jesus. Right now, you need to think about your, your test. You run the test, it's okay, all tests passed. And you need to, to, to think more about your test. Oh, what's the part is not good? For example, this is some part is not uh, necessary in this code. Because when you remove, the result is the same like that. Result is the true. Right now, you need to refactor your unit test because in your test, there is a if. If is the best practice when you talk about the test. In my perspective, in my point of view, see so you, so your test need to, if you need to create the two tests. So you solve the problem so easy using the new parent. Yeah. After then, oh, it's fine. Yeah. Oof. So the interactive. It's continue, yes, uh, and calm bro. And you need to think, use, using the user perspective, what if you use added letters in font field? Yes, I, 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 so of course, you can not permit in the endpoint level or in HTML level, but you need to try this, yes? When you put in the last parameter is a validated number, just a string, you result in this, yes, false. Because uh, the library uh, raises exception. In this case, I need to make a treatment about the exception, it's raising, and I said previous, you need to create the test because I need to check, oh, is a raise exception or no? In this case, the better approach, you create the new test. Right now, you create the, the test and you check, see, uh, raise the exception and 
just the result are set. Right now, you have a two tests for the same method, and there are the result. Right, the integrate test, you need to table like this, just a, a module in Django. You need to represent the module in, in your factory. Uh, right now, you can create the, the test to te oh. You create the test to check and create the phone number using the REST API. And when you talk about the test, my device is using the good setup method, yes? Put the, uh, the common things you're using in the, the class. For example, you need to test the list uh, phone. You create the path, the new path, and you need to list the phone. Using the same things in the setup you should use in the second method. So, Yes, TDD is so fantastic tools. I would like to share this, uh, this point of view about the TDD, but TDD is not a civil bullet. Because effort increase, you need to test, you need to make a review, and you, you need to align this time is increasing uh, when you compare them before. Because you, right now you create the test, you need to think more about you, but you provide the best code. Of course, you take more time in this. You need to align with your team and test everything impossible in real life, yeah? almost. So you create the, the small software, it's impossible. But in, in the big software, just impossible, yeah? And I, as I have always said in my career, you may not want to use TDD, but your development should be driven by test. Because if I know some developers are good developers, but don't like using the TDD approach. But he make the test after you create the code. I think it's possible, but the TDD, the best thing because you think more about your code. So that is, guys. Thank you so much.